Yet another question for an engineer. Diesel engines don't use a spark plug, instead igniting their air fuel mixture via pressure and heat. With a gasoline engine, the mixture is well mixed before the ignition happens. If it gets too hot, you get pre-ignition, or knock. The technical term for that mixture is that it's homogeneous, meaning it's the same throughout. Diesel engines are not well mixed, meaning their air fuel is heterogeneous, or not the same throughout. In the spots that are mixing early combust, explode, before the actual power stroke. The clicking and clacking is the same pre-ignition. Knock you hear from a gas engine, but in small pockets as the pressure is raised to combust the main body of the mix. Those early, smaller combustions travel back through the engine mounts and drivetrain and we hear them. On older diesels, you could also hear the mechanical fuel injectors clacking away. Explain like IM3. Diesels create combustion by compressing fuel rather than using spark plugs like in a petrol car. It's why diesels sound like a whooshy thump, compared to petrol which sounds more like thousands of tiny little explosions in short sequence. Extra. Diesel-type fuels are non-flammable at ambient pressures, but become incredibly volatile at extreme pressures inside a combustion chamber. The engines need to be built stronger with heavier materials. This makes them more sluggish in power delivery and consequently in noise as well. Greater than this makes them more sluggish in power delivery and consequently in noise as well. They are much noisier, yes, but the power, torque, is delivered immediately. Petrol engines are more sluggish because they have to build up engine speed before delivering significant power. The combustion in a diesel is caused by compression, not a spark. Their motors are more robust, heavier and lower revving. The diesel compression, combustion cycle also causes far greater oscillation on the engine output, as compared to petrol engines. Hence the need for, e.g. flywheel, spring coupling to the output to reduce wear on downstream components. Have you heard of, pinging, and, knocking, in petrol engines? It is called, pre-ignition, where a hot engine has some contaminants in the cylinders that ignites the petrol before the spark does. If ignition happens a bit before the piston reaches the top, you have a pressure pulse. You also have shocks caused when the flame front from the spark meets the flame front from the secondary ignition. With a diesel engine, with no spark plug, pinging and knocking is the normal running condition. So the engine always sounds like it is knocking. I understood almost none of this. And I'm over age 5. There are a lot of close but incorrect answers here. The knocking sound comes from the rapid pressure increase that comes from injecting fuel directly into the compressed air in the cylinder at 3000 psi. Modern diesels pulse the injectors a few times for each combustion event which is why modern diesels are quieter. Had a GM engineer demonstrate this 10 years ago on a Duramax. One injector pulse per event caused a very loud and distinct diesel clatter. Changing it back to its default, I believe it was 4, caused most of the clatter to go away. Thank you. All the detonation, ignition answers are driving me crazy. They have a different sound. Higher compression lower revs. But no one has mentioned how the majority of diesel engines has a turbocharger which creates the woo of FFFFFFFPSHHH sound. When you compress air it heats up. In a diesel engine this heat is used to ignite the air fuel mixture. In a gasoline engine it's ignited with an electrical spark. With the gasoline engine the combustion propagates smoothly from a single point, the spark plug. Whereas with diesel there can be multiple ignition points that can collide and causing vibrations and a distinct sound. Diesels use very high pressure fuel injectors that pulse on and off with each power stroke. This is very different than a petrol engine, which has continuous injectors at much lower pressure. Dot. The distinctive, clack clack, sound of diesels is the fuel injectors pulsing. If you just mean the lower, rumble, of diesels that's because, at equal power, they spin considerably slower but with much higher torque, cylinder pressure. Side note. The newer diesels are quieter because they are, common rail, 
and operate at pressures of up to 60,000 psi versus older mechanical injection 1 to 3,000 psi or electronically actuated mechanically operated injectors. Unit injectors. 5 to 10,000 psi. Because they are igniting under knock conditions instead of under spark conditions. Knock ping is the noise you hear rather than a smooth expansion of the gasoline explosion. A gas engine makes a similar noise when not working correctly but usually it breaks shortly after. Eli 15 or so I guess. Knock is detonation. Diesels don't detonate. They do a much slower burn. Relatively, called a deflagration. I've noticed that some newer diesel trucks have a whistle sound to the exhaust. Why is that? That's the turbocharger which uses waste exhaust gases to spin a turbine to force more air into the engine increasing efficiency and power. You will also hear this on turbocharged petrol engines but diesel engines tend to have louder turbos in my experience so it's more noticeable. Can I piggyback on this? I've been wondering for a long time what makes that distinctive whining, whirring sound when a big truck is moving. I don't mean the air brakes. I mean that high-pitched, throaty whine that happens when it's accelerating. That school bus sound. That's the turbocharger. It uses waste exhaust gases to spin a turbine which forces air into the engine at high pressures to increase efficiency and power. You can get non-turbo diesels but they are very lackluster and gutless. As semi-trucks are often moving a lot of weight, more engine load. You'll hear the turbo more than you would on a diesel-powered passenger car or petrol-powered passenger car. Dot. The turbos are both much larger on trucks and the engines will be working much harder. So the turbos will be generating more boost and therefore more noise. I can't find the video RN. But I saw one showing a diesel injector test. And it made the typical, clack clack clack, noise that a diesel engine made. I mentioned it to my dad and he said that most of the noise you hear is the sound of the injectors. The reason for that is that diesels use compression and not spark to ignite fuel, and the pressure is needed to overcome the compression in the pre-fire chamber. This is a good way to envision how diesel engines work. Take 100 people, and put them in a large room so everyone has space. People are happy. Now move the walls in so everyone is shoulder to shoulder but have a little bit of personal space. People are getting irritated. Now move the walls in just a bit more, and one person is going to flip the fuck out. That person makes all the others flip out and you now have a riot. The people are the diesel, and the room is the pre-fire chamber. Gas engines, also known as spark ignition, use spark plugs to ignite fuel. Think of it like you're dropping a small rock into the edge of a pool of water. The water is the fuel air mix, the rock is your spark. As the rock hits small ripples move across the water surface. This is how a gasoline combustion event occurs. Small spark rippling through the combustible mixture. Dot. Diesel engines, also known as compression ignition, do not use spark plugs. They squeeze air at high temperatures and inject fuel which then auto-ignites all at once. Instead of the small rock at the edge of the pool of water, it's more like if you were to drop a firecracker into that pool. You wait while the fuse burns, similar to the air being compressed, and then all of a sudden you have one large boom for your combustion event. Dot. The difference between the relatively more gentle wave and the single explosion of fuel and air is what causes different sounds. Due to the design difference between diesel and gas engines, Gas burns smoothly inside the cylinder while diesel burns all at once, explodes. The explosions make the ping noise in the engine. Ford started using many small explosions instead of one single big one in their diesels which reduced the noise significantly. Even then, the diesel sounds different, and louder, than a gas engine. If you want more detail, Modern gas and diesel engines are similar in that they both inject fuel into the compressed air inside the cylinder. Diesel engines have higher compression which makes that air hotter than gas engines. The air in a gas engine is not hot enough to ignite the injected gasoline. The air in a diesel cylinder is. So when the diesel is injected, it spontaneously ignites all at once. The gas engine requires a spark to ignite it. 
which starts a flame front that PR gresses across to fill the cylinder at some rate much slower than the spontaneous burn of diesel. Gas is formulated to resist compressive ignition and that is measured in octane. Diesel is formulated to burn in hot compressed air and that is measured in cetane. Basically diesels are more powerful. Heavy-duty engines that spin or rotate slower in general but at the same time they have a more explosive and therefore louder sound. When you hear them running parked, you are hearing the sound of the engine working at a slower but louder rate. If you reverend them up, they sound more like a gasoline engine because the sounds get blended together, but they are still going to be louder in general. There are a lot of technical explanations here, and they are the reason historically. But there is also a fashion explanation that applies at least to consumer trucks. They're loud on purpose. People buying a diesel pickup expect that, big diesel, sound. Trucks could be made way quieter but people buy big trucks that make big sound with a big grill, also more style than function. Not true at all. The new Ford and Cummins engines are very quiet because they use common rail injection that operates up to 60,000 psi so it can be finely tuned with better atomization to make it quieter. On large semi-trucks the X15 Cummins engines are very quiet compared to the older CAT or Cummins N14 engines. Higher combustion pressure and diesel engines have a fairly different way of igniting the fuel. They use compression and heat to ignite the diesel and regular gas engines use compression and spark to ignite. Turbo whistle. Slightly longer explanation. The whistling, or whirring, sound is distinctive of most diesel engines. This comes from the turbocharger, usually just called a turbo. In the US, nearly all diesel engines are built with a turbo because it is far more efficient. Side note. A motor without a turbocharger in it would be considered, naturally aspirated, meaning simply that the air intake is not assisted by any turbo. A diesel motor without a turbocharger would sound much closer to the way a gas engine sounds. Here's an example of the, whistling. If my description wasn't clear. HTTPS colon slash slash u2 dot be slash tljo textdq underscore u. Same with gas 8. 6. 4 CYL engines. Power steering. Worn brakes. Bad bearings. Dot you hear them. Good ear know what the issue, thing is. Diesel has a higher combustion velocity than gasoline, but it atomizes poorly. The poor atomization can lead to unequal combustion, which is why modern approximately 24,000 psi piezo injection systems are quieter. They atomize fuel better. Dot. Because diesel fuel combusts at a much higher velocity than gasoline, and at much higher pressure, it is more of a detonation than a burn, thus the unique knocking sound, which even modern diesels have. Edit. Asterisk asterisk till diesels are four stroke. I guess it makes sense. Two strokes are really dirty. I have a lot of experience with two stroke nitromethane engines, which also use glow plugs, and just assumed diesels were also two stroke and figured it also contributed to them having more torque. The more you know. Tilde tilde two reasons tilde tilde. I'm going to oversimplify this. 1. Tilde tilde normal gasoline engines basically spin, and for every two full spins of the engine's output shaft, each piston fires once. The diesel engines fire every full rotation. That means it has twice the frequency, which is a change in sound tilde tilde 2. Diesel engines compress the air and fuel mixture to about double the pressure than gasoline, so you get a bigger bang, which changes the sound of the system. Your first point is incorrect. Diesel engines for the most part are still four-stroke engines. There are some two-stroke diesels out there, but I'm not aware of any that are in vehicles. Most of them are large Detroit diesel engines. There are a few big differences between diesel and gas when it comes to the sound. A gas engine ignites the fuel using a carefully timed electric spark. A diesel engine uses just the heat and pressure in the cylinder to get the fuel to ignite itself. Sometimes a gas engine, when running too hot or with too low octane fuel, will ignite the fuel before the spark in the same way and you'll get a different, more diesel-like, sound. 
This is a type of failure in a gas engine called detonation or knock, but is, in a way, the normal means of function for a diesel. A gas engine changes how much power it produces by changing the amount of air allowed into the cylinders. When you press the accelerator pedal it opens a throttle valve to allow more air in. The fuel system measures how much air is going in and adds just the right amount of gasoline to maintain the ideal ratio of fuel and air. A diesel engine does not have a throttle valve so it's always taking in the full amount of air. It changes power by adjusting the fuel ratio, adding more fuel when you press the accelerator pedal. A diesel engine sounds more like a gas engine at heavy load because, with the pedal down, the mixture is closer to the ideal mix that a gas engine always uses. In best ELI-5 fashion as I can. Gasoline engines have spark plugs which sets the gasoline on fire so that it can make the engine run. Dot. Diesel engines compress the fuel up to the point that it gets so hot it lights up on its own. This creates thousands of tiny explosions because of that pressure and is notably more noisy than the fuel being set on fire. Very simple explanation. Diesel fires by combustion. Gas fires by spark. No spark plugs in diesels. Adiabatic compression. Diesel engines squish the air in their cylinders down from 16 to 1. It's kind of like when you stomp on an empty pop can. When it does this the air gets really hot. So hot that things which wouldn't usually blow up, do. Dot. When the squish gets to a certain pressure, a little ball is pushed away and a small squirt of fuel is pushed into the chamber. It's so hot in the chamber because of the air being squished down that the fuel explodes. This explosion pushes the piston back in the direction it came from. Dot. In a gas engine the air only gets squished down from 9 to 1. The air in the chamber doesn't get hot enough to make things explode so a gas engine uses a thing called a spark plug to increase the heat in the chamber so when the fuel is squirted in, it hits an electric spark and that causes the explosion. Because the air is squished down so much more in a diesel engine, it makes a different sound when it blows up.